Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. So Raj has been a subscriber and a Patreon supporter for a while. And he is also a Tableau student ambassador and provided feedback on this channel. And a little while ago, he reached out to me and said, Hey, would you be willing to be a judge for a Tableau competition that I'm hosting on the University of North Carolina Greensboro campus. And I said, yes, I'd love to do that and be a part of that. So he hosted the competition. We had people participate and five of them agreed to have their dashboards reviewed on this channel. Three of them are very new to Tableau and so be aware of that. And then two of them I wanna show you scored really well on a lot of different criteria. No, I had about four criteria that I looked at. First was aesthetics. Was it pleasing to look at? Was it professional looking? The second, the technical ability. Was there a lot of features that Tableau uses? Third, was it easy to understand? Was it intuitive for someone like me to just pull it up and understand what's happening? And then fourth, is the dashboard sending a message? Is there a call to action? Is it just sharing information? What is the user supposed to get out of the dashboard? First dashboard we're going to look at is by Ananta, UNCG competition. And that's one of the first things that I like about this, this visual here, this dashboard, is it actually has a title up here. The other thing that I like about this is it's using different types of visuals. We've got a couple of bar charts, a vertical and a horizontal. We've got a map, and then we've got a scatter plot. I always like scatter plots. I think they're really cool, and there's a lot that information that that can give you. The other thing I like is that the titles on these charts are something other than the default, something other than sheet one, two, three, and four. There's a couple of things I think you could do easily to improve this is one, hide the other sheets. If you only have one dashboard, only show the one dashboard. The way you do that is when you're going to publish in Tableau, you come down here and it says show sheets as tabs. You turn this off and then you come up to sheets and you only pick the one that you want to show. The other thing that I would do is maybe make these a little more explanatory rather than explain just the type of chart it is. What is it trying to tell you? And then finally, I like the competition listing up here. It might be nice to have a, another title. You can add that with a text box on your dashboard. Those are three things that I think you could do to take it to the next level. Final point is uh, filtering across your worksheets. So if you were to select one of these, it filters the other charts. But great start, uh, keep up the good work. Next one we're gonna take a look at is Pratima. Very similar in terms of the four sheets. I like the fact that they have different types, a line chart, a couple bar charts, and a map. Also, uh, we've gotten the sheets that are hidden. So that's good. Now the one, the couple things to do to take this to the next level is change these, rather than showing sheets one, two, three, and four, actually put a title in there that explains what it is that we're looking at. Another thing that would help is doing the filtering so that you could select on central and it would filter the other charts. I think that would help as well. But this is a, a great start. I like the fact that you're trying a lot of different uh, chart types. Vijayas. This one is another, some of the similar things that we've seen. I like the different charts. Uh, what I like about this one is it's got different color, whereas previously it was the previous chart was all blue. This is adding different color, so you can kind of distinguish between when profit is good and when profit is uh, not so good. Once again, the other charts have been hidden, so you're only showing the dashboard. Good thing. Here's some things to improve on is renaming of the sheet one, two, three, and four. Adding a filter so that it filters the other data. That would be, those are two things that would help. And then a title over the top. That makes it really clear to somebody coming in what it is they're looking at. This next one is one of the ones that scored really well. And the one thing that I like about this, and when you're looking at it, it's, it's pleasing. It looks professional. And that has to do, I believe, with these curved corners on these boxes. 
and this image here. This is not an image you see in your typical dashboards, right? The way they think they do this is through uh, images, inserting images into your dashboard and then putting either text on top of it or bringing the text in as part of the picture. So that's cool. I also like the fact that you've got different filters down here. The, the one thing that I think would be helpful is having the filtering across the dashboard. So if you were to select on tracks, that would filter and show you where the tracks are being shown and how many by year. The other thing that you need to take a look at is when you select a county, it's unclear what is happening up here. But I really like this, this is really pleasing. The other thing that I would maybe suggest is to help the user, what is the message? You know, I talked about storytelling. That What is the message you're trying to convey? Just that there's a lot of cougar sightings or cougar information? Or are you trying to indicate that, you know, sightings are going down over a year or that they're increasing over a year, year over year? Those would be the improvements or maybe things to think about to take this to the next level. Finally, Shob Hakkar. This dashboard is great in terms of technical capability and utilizing what Tableau has to offer. This dashboard does a great job. I don't use this very often, but this is a great use of storyboard. It has the title up at the top, so you're really understanding what it is you're looking at. And these also serve as subheaders. The other thing I like about this is it's great use of color. Blue, traditionally in the US, represents male. Pink, traditionally represents female. So good use of color there. Uh, you know, you click on a country and it will filter the rest of the charts. I like that. The one thing I might recommend is maybe hiding the numbers. The numbers get a little bit busy. If people are, I find that if people are interested in a particular country, they'll hover over it to get the information. Now there was another dashboard. I'm gonna show these other two really quick. So you've got some pictures here, you've got some filters, clear delineation between the different groups, consistent use of color. Uh, the one I really like, I really like this chart, mainly because this is, I think, a clever way of using this. This is a scatter plot. I've used charts like this before but you can, these are scatter plots on top of an image. And I, I really like, I think this is totally cool with the image and the scatter plot. The thing that's really tough about this is building it, is making sure that you have the data points in the right location. I think this is a great job, scored really well, and hopefully you can see for why that is. It looks professional, it's pleasing to the eye, and you can it provides a lot of information. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.